So I welcome all of you to our webinar. I am Gireja. I am part of academic uh, solution team at Vartana. So as all of you know, Vartana is non-banking finance company who works in education sector. Vartana provides financial support to schools and students by giving them loan. Along with Vartana also provide academic support. Due to this regard, we have started conducting webinars for school and students to upgrade their skills and knowledge. And in this regard, we have been conducting webinars for the student on various topics so far. So we have conducted webinars on how to write a resume, how you can as an interview, financial literacy and student leadership. In this continuation, our today's uh, webinar is must have skills to land your dream job. So before I start with the webinar and we deep down into our today's topic, uh, I would like to highlight two things here first. First, at the, uh, you will be really providing a webinar, a participation webinar certificate. For that, at the end of the webinar, we will be sharing a feedback form. So I request all of you to Please attend the webinar so you uh, at, till the end so you can get the, your participation certificate. Let's move ahead with our today's topic and see the agendas quickly. So we'll start with the introduction and session objective. Then talk about the current job market. Then skills and its importance. Then ways to develop soft skills. And we'll close a uh, session with the question and feedback. Let's move ahead and see today's uh, session objective. So we will be focusing on two things today. So first to, uh, to understand the current job market scenario. Second to explore ways to develop skills required to get a good job, sustain and grow in it. So before, uh, as we know, our today's topic is must have a skill to lend a good job, to lend a good job. So let's try to understand first what is the skill. So as per the Weber dictionary, a skill is the ability which you have to gain a knowledge or to perform any task or any job to which is assigned to you. And it is the technique or competency you learn, you need to learn something or develop an attitude or ability. For example, if you want to drive a car, you need to know the driving skills to drive a car. So now we have understood what the skills are. Let's move ahead and see what kind of different skills we have. So first is the hard skills. So hard skills are the technical skills, which are especially focused on specific competencies, ability which you need to perform or do a particular task or role which is assigned to you. So example of the uh, hard skills are the coding. So if you want to develop any soft uh, software, so you need to know the coding to do that, uh, to develop any software. Like that we have the data analysis and if you want to analyze or understand any data, you should have this anal data analysis skill. Another is the content creation. These are the example, these are the few example of the hard skills. Now look, uh, now look to what is the soft skill. So soft skills are the personal behavior or personality trait which you need to perform or interpersonal activities in a unique way. So what are the example of the soft skills first is the collaboration how you're collaborating when you're working in a group how adoptive you are with the environment uh, how you're communicating uh, when you're working with someone so these are examples of software so you must have all like uh, earning and getting this hard skills in your colleges and you must be get must be doing different different course courses to get this hard skills and today's session we will be mainly focusing only on the soft skill because soft skill is very important if you first if you want to get a job second if you want to grow in your career and soft skills are very important if you want to perform any if you want to perform any task and more effectively so for example if you want to develop uh, any software you know how to do the coding coding is your hard skill but you need to know the collaboration adoptability and communication as well because you will be working with another people uh, as well so coordination and adaptability and communication will help you to get uh, to get that get that work done right so now 
we have understood why uh, the soft skills are important for us to get a job or and grow in our career let's move ahead and see what the job current market scenario is uh, is say so what our, so our first data is saying the 76% of employees are mainly focusing on the skills whenever they are uh, recruiting a new talent or they are recruiting any fresher our second data is saying uh, the now the recruiters and the employers are posting jobs and the advertisement they are mostly focusing on the skills and uh, responsibility and as per the links it has increased 21 uh, by 21 percent now another data is saying now recruiter whenever they are looking in hard skills they especially focusing on the soft skills so when they look any kind of skills they 49% they pay more advanced uh, more focus to the soft skills so now our data is saying first thing is the recruiters are mainly focusing on the skill instead of the qualification and second is the soft whenever even they are looking for the skills they are mainly paying attention to the soft uh, skills now we know the soft it is very important for even the data is saying it is very important for us to develop the skills and especially focus on the soft skills to get any job now let's move ahead and see uh, like what kind of skills we need to focus on and what kind of skills employer are looking and why it's important at our workplace so uh, there are few uh, skills which recruiters are looking whenever they are recruiting any person and they think the uh, a candidate should must have these skills first is communication emotional intelligence critical thinking problem solving conflict management time management the team work and leadership recruiter on many as per the research and data is showing the recruiter specially looking these kind of skills it even they are recruiting any fresh tab, new talent or freshers or even uh, any experienced person so they can add they can sustain in the environment and they can add benefit to the companies so let's move ahead and see every skills and details and why it is important at the workplace so first skill we have the communication so communication is just not only about conveying your message it is more related how you are connecting with others whenever you are having any conversation even writing the email and how it benefit at the workplace so if you have a communication skill it is very easy for a candidate or for a employee to uh, collaborate with the team member and obtain the drive and drive the result as an individual team and for the organization another skill we have the emotional intelligence so employees they look the emotional intelligence because they try to understand how the candidates are managing their own thoughts and influence uh, own emotions and influencing the others emotions and managing others emotion as well and why it is important because we are living in this stressful environment so they need how you are managing yours and others uh, others emotions so they always they are prefer eq over uh, um, they prefer eq over iq because it helps them to identify the leaders how good player the a candidate or employer is or how they are influencing the person another skill we have this critical thinking so critical thinking is how you are approaching a any problem when the whenever you are in any situation and approaching any problem how you are spotting the errors and connecting these dots and coming out of even the best decision, uh, decision based on this uh, data and the facts what you have and why it is important at the workplace it will help you to reduce the cost and uh, use the effective use organization effectively uh, resources effectively so for example if you are launching any products if you are using this critical thinking before launching any products based on your data and facts so you have more success in the market so another skill you have the problem solving so problem solving how you are understanding the problem and exploring and uh, exploring and analyzing the answer and implementing the best solution at that point and why it is important at the workplace because it help you to 
it has the other kind it will help you develop other kind of competencies say logic how critic creative you are how imaginary you are and you literal thinker you are so for example like during the covid everything was shut and everybody was working at their workplace that time employ the problem solving is something help the employer and employee to get continue the work let's move ahead and see other skills so like another skill we have the conflict management so conflict management is not just about how you are getting along with the team members it is about how you are dealing the disagreements and the conflicts and coming uh, and coming to a concern where everybody can be everybody on the same page and we can achieve the goal together uh, so it helps uh, it helps to create a positive environment uh, in the workplace and if the we have the positive environment it automatically boosts the uh, uh, productivity of the employee of the candidate another skill employee look is the time management so in the time management is something you're prioritizing your work you're organizing and planning how you can divide your work between various tasks and reach to the uh, desired result so how it is helpful uh, how how it is helpful at the workplace it help you to use your time and your allocated time in the in to maximum to in uh, mag to get to get a maximum productivity within the less time so for example uh, uh we how if you in the, this time the employer are uh, looking for people who can do the multitask so if you have the time management skill it is very uh, it will very helpful how you can manage different tasks in the one time another skill employer is are looking to team of work so team work is about how you working well with others and achieving a common goal and uh, if you work if you have this skill it definitely saves the time and it will improve the productivity and when you working together it will lead to the in, uh, innovation and efficiency and we have lot of uh, example lot of startups and companies they are example of good team work like apple and bharat pay now we have the another skill is leadership so leadership is encouraging self and team towards you know achieving a common goal and you are managing yourself as uh, as well in that process so it will help to uh, include the skills like you know communication how you know uh, how the candidate is uh, negotiating resolving the conflict and whenever the situation is coming and making the best best decision on that particular situation so now we have seen what kind of skills employers are looking uh, when they are see recruiting a person and how it it will be helpful for you at at the workplace now i would like to uh, now we we'll, let's move ahead and see what how we can develop these soft skill in ourselves so uh, so there is the first step it's the if you want to develop any skill is the self uh, reflection and the another step is how you can improve how you can develop the uh, skills through the different activities now let's move ahead uh, move ahead and see every steps in detail so first step we have the self reflection so in self reflection is some it is very important to whenever you are trying to develop any skill in yourself self reflection to help you to understand what kind of a skills you have and what are your weaknesses and what are your good at it and what are your strength uh, what are your strength are and based on that you can develop your professional development or career development plan so first way to do the self reflection is the self assessment tool so self assessment tool will give you the indicator of the soft skill and based on that you can evaluate and assess and on which skills you are good at it and which skill which skill you are lacking and you can pay more attention so for example you can do through this survey and another way you can do uh, assess your uh, skills by or uh, through this online uh, assessments as well so i'm sharing one assessment with you which you can use for your uh, self assessment let me share my screen again so here is a soft skill assessment which you can use to assess your own soft skill which can help you to understand what you are good at and where you are lacking so it has the statements and the options and based on that statement you can choose any options and it has a uh, uh, different kind of situations which will help 
and it will uh, help you to think in particular situation how you're gonna uh, react and how you're gonna handle that situation and based on that they will share the result with you so i have also done a soft skill assessment for myself okay So selecting like the way I am selecting the options, you can also select the options and uh, go to the next questions. It will lead you to the uh, results. So I'm also doing that. It will, at the end of this, it will help me to know my skills and sh share the results with me. So I have already filled it that form, so it didn't take much time for me to do that. So uh, like this is the result. It is showing what and um, what are my skills and good at it and where I have to pay attention. So I am the most uh, least score in the time management and most score in the uh, self management. So this self management can be my skill. I have the strongest skill and that can be my strength. And uh, goal setting and time management can be my focus area. We have to pay more attention on. Let's go back to the presentation. And another way is to uh, do the self reflection is the feedback. So feedback will help you to understand and about yourself when you're talking to others. So in in the feedback, you're getting the other's perspective what they think about you how they perceive you so and it will it will not only help you where you're not good at it it will also help you to understand maybe you haven't seen paid attention what kind of skills you have in you uh, in you so for example if you're working any uh, group work in college or if you join during the internship you can ask the people about any questions so you, here is the example you can ask them which is soft skill come to your mind when when you think of me so answer his king the everyone is pointing at your organization skills when you work within the group but you have been thinking yourself as a disorganized person and if this perception can help you to reflect on yourself maybe you haven't thought you are an organized person but it is giving you the perspective you are an organized person so like this you can reflect do this self-reflection by first by the self-assessment by yourself and you can take others insights as well for that okay. now we have talked about uh, how we can do this self-reflection and know about our skills now i would like to know from all of you you know what are the two soft skills you guys are working on and if you would like to share with all of us and if you have self you can take a two minutes and do the self-reflection and Identify two skills you must be already working on and you would like to work on. Anybody who would like to share about their sk two skills they are working on and they would like to work on? You want to share the presentation, Girita? No, 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 I'm sharing. Okay, so uh, let me share about my uh, two soft skills I would like to uh, work on. So I would like to work on the emotional uh, intelligence because there is a need of uh, this emotional intelligence in this time so I can work under the pressure. And second, I would like to work on this time management skill so I can handle a lot of project at the two times. So uh, anybody who wants to share either uh, you can use this Q&A box and you can whenever this any skills in coming in your mind, you can drop that message in the Q&A box. Let's move ahead with our, uh, the presentation. So let's uh, uh, talk about uh, the second step. Our second step is the, about the how we can 
improve our skills to the different activities so first is you should start we can start with focusing on our core skills so core skills are essential although these are the basic skills whenever you're trying to learn a new skills whereas even like secondary skills are also necessary but if you want to master master and be good at it any skill core skills are something you need to focus first on so for example if you want to be a receptionist and you apply for any receptionist so language is can uh, is your core skill because you will be talking to a lot of people and there you will need this verbal and the written uh, a language uh, language uh, communication you will be doing so language is something you need to focus on first where is the marketing because there will be chances you will be doing the marketing as well at that time but that can be the secondary skill so if you uh, uh, you the core skill if you want to master in that particular uh, profession so you need to focus first on your core skills so let's see like the receptionist there are uh, every uh, profession has some core skills you need to focus on first to excel and get mastered on that particular uh, profession and the skills so let's move ahead and see the other uh, profession and their core skills so first profession we have the digital marketing and their core skills are communication social media marketing and language because uh, you will be uh, doing uh, communications because you will be uh, uh, conveying the message and the language you, uh, how effectively you're using the language to communicate the message and how aware about you are aware about this and comfortable about this uh, this year social uh, media another we have this management so here we'll need a strategic thinking of uh, skills and decision making and the teamwork strategic thinking because you will be managing a lot of people so you have this strategic thinking planning and everything should be organized and planned and based on that you make you can make the decision and you will be you should have this teamwork uh, uh, skill as well so you can work with the people effectively then we if you are in sales the core skill will be the negotiation sociability and prospecting like because you are selling something so you should have this negotiation skill and you will be interacting with a lot of people and talking to random people so sociability you should you should able to socialize with people so it will be, develop your uh, build your network and prospecting how you can convince the uh, customers about your product and then in design if you are uh, uh, does choosing a design profession so your uh, core skills can be the presentation skill how effectively you're drawing that idea and how you're presenting it what how creatively you're presenting and conveying your message and paying attention to uh, details is very important here another uh, profession is the accounting so in accounting the analytical skills because you will be uh, dealing with a lot of numbers so if a uh, lot of numbers you should be very analytical when you are seeing that now uh, seeing that number you should have a logic for that also the problem solving because there are a lot of numbers you had and you can get stuck somewhere so how you are solving these problem uh, these problems another is the web uh, web development so in the web development the core skills can be the project management so uh, you will be leading the projects and how you're handling the project critically thinking how you're solving whenever the any problems coming uh, uh, during that development and in, in that project so here are a few example of the core skill for this uh, these profession uh, these profession so based on that you can also prepare yourself and start focusing on these core skills if you are related to these professions let's move ahead and see our as uh, another uh, activity through this you can do this soft skill development so you can volunteer uh anywhere at, uh, to college or any community and you can also join uh any internship in any organization which is regarding to your uh, profession or you want to uh, develop or uh, you uh, you want to pursue your career in that particular field so it will give you opportunity to, to learn new skills so if you are doing the volunteering and the internship it will also help you to develop some certain kind of soft skill which can be useful for your career uh, growth and lend a good job so if you will if you're doing this volunteering it will help you to because you will be 
volunteering in your college you can volunteer in your college in your community so it will help you to develop this collaboration problem solving if you are doing the internship it will help you to make how accountable for your own work taking the responsibility of your work negotiation because you will be interacting with a lot of people multitasking because you will be assigning with a lot of work communication because you will be working with a lot of people and the critical thinking whenever any situation is coming how critical you think and coming to the solutions so through this volunteer uh, volunteer internship you can uh, develop these skills uh, another way you can do is come out of your comfort zone so if through this learning process whenever you try to learn any soft skills it is very important to come out of your comfort zone or put yourself in an unfamiliar situation where it will push you uh to the end where you can unlock your own potential and will get to know about yourself more so uh for example uh you can volunteer for, if you're working in any organizations for internship or in for volunteer any organization you just join so you can uh volunteer yourself and take a assignment like a report presentation which you haven't done before and this is a new spot for you so if you're doing the presentation in any kind of role you're taking, it will also help you to get some kind of skills. So for example, if for the report presentation, if you're doing, it will help you to develop the project management skill, how and that data analysis and analytical thinking, presentation skill, and time management skills. So another way to develop uh, soft uh, uh, soft skills is the role play in the mock interview. It's just the, one of the best way to do that because in these role plays, you're putting yourself in different, different situations and you're using different ki kind of uh, soft skills and practicing these soft skills in different situations. So for example, if you are applying for any uh, any interview or if you want to perceive yourself uh, in any particular field so related that uh, field you or you related that interview or that uh, uh, role you can do the role plays so for example if you are applying for the sales job so uh, you can do the role play with your uh, with your friends with your classmates uh, classmates one and you can have the situation where you have to convince a customers to buy a new product and that customer has the uh, pre uh, not good experience with your uh, previous uh, previous service so in that you have to, you do a role play and try to uh, use different different type of the soft skill what kind of soft skills you will need to convince that cus uh, customers so and similarly you can do the mock interviews as well you can pair up with your friends and you can pair up with your classmates and colleagues and prepare for the interview which you will be appearing for and for which role you are applying for so it will it will again push you to use uh, the different skills which you uh, can use during that uh, interview and in the different situations. So through this role play and mock interviews, you can develop a lot of skills. But if you are doing that, few skills you will definitely uh, learn is like communication, uh, communication skill, how come how you're communicating your own thoughts problem solving because you are putting yourself in different different situations obviously leadership because you're taking initiatives to solve that uh, particular situation emotional intelligence because you're managing uh, yourself in that stress and t time management in how effect within the limited time and different situation how you're coming to the solutions and because you will be working with a lot of people during the role plays and mock uh, mock interview so it will automatically develop your team uh, team skills as well let's move ahead and see another uh, activities one you can uh, attend a lot of events and fees uh, fest uh, and startup events which is happening within your college and around the college and within your city so it will help you or uh, not just help you to develop the skills it will also help you to understand what is happening in the market what is the requirement of the market and what are the requirement skills employers are looking because you will be talking to a lot of people from the different companies you are hearing the experts and their experience so it will 
help you to understand where you can uh, where you can focus and if you are attending these events it will also help you to develop skills like networking because you are meeting a lot of people it will build your network relationship better it uh, relationship building and it critical thinking and emotional intelligence here are few uh, example of the college events you can use these website here and you can use this website and which can help you to know what events are coming up and you can go and attend so first we have the no fees so here you can uh, see the list of upcoming college camp uh, college or campus fest in in august 2023 here the name of name of the fest and the fest type organizer and which date it is happening and if it is happening it it is happening in your uh, in your state or not so like tamil nadu nasik chennai so there are different uh, you can have uh, you will get the knowledge in which city if it is happening in your city in which state is it happening which is it is happening another uh, you can also refer this even right here again it will help you to know about the different kind of events here you can see the uh, filters which uh, by using that you know if you want today you want to see any events or tomorrow you want to see any events you can uh, choose if you want to see the free events you, where you don't have to pay anything and you can attend these events and which business category and the format the class conference festivals what in which language you want to uh, uh, want to listen so by using this you can get to know about the uh, events and go and attend this and another activity we have this a find the coach so if you are finding any coach who can guide finding any coach or mentor who can guide you and give you the personal personalized lesson and help you to uh, help you to focus on particular skills or important skills which can be helpful for you to grow in your career so you can find these mentors through your projects and assignment if you are going for any internship and in in, in your college so you can uh, um find a mentor and have a mentor in your college as a professor if you're going for internship a supervisor you can you can help that person to uh, coach you and help give you to guidance for this how you can develop the soft skills another way you can also use this online platform for the mentor so we here we have one a uh, mentor card you can also get the mentor online so you can go to this uh, find mentor and you can see the different mentor for particular skills so you have a mentor for the product you have the mentor for the soft skill training consulting digital sales and it has the soft skills and the uh, hard skills as well another way uh, you can develop your soft skills are uh, you can get the training and you can do any certificates about that particular uh, uh, certificate course for that particular skill you want to um, know more about it and you want to excel and master in it so it can first it can obviously if you are uh, doing any certificate on getting trained on that particular skill first it will help you to enhance the knowledge for that and it also add a value or uh, to your resume when you are applying for a job or any internship you can do either online or offline you can find this offline if it is happening in your uh, colleges or around your areas or you can also do the online as so for uh linkedin has this provision uh, they have lot of top soft skill which can be helpful for you and these are free if you are doing this 30 days trial period so if once you complete this uh, certificate it will automatically add to your linkedin profile uh, linkedin profile and it can be visible to your network so anyone any recruiter and employer and going through your uh, linkedin profile it will help it they can also see what kind of certificates and soft uh, soft skill certificates you have done so far so here are three example of uh, example uh, the top three uh, 
skills uh, soft skills certificates you can do the critical thinking for better judgment and decision developing for your emotional intelligence teamwork and foundation apart from this you can also uh, do this online skill certificates which are providing by the different provider So here are, you can uh, see the list of the providers who are providing. We already talked about the LinkedIn. There's a Google, Microsoft, Harvard, Stanford. They have a certificates for different skill, uh, different skills, and all these certificates are free. So you can use their their website and do these certificates. So now we have seen, uh, you know, how using these different activities we can develop our soft skills. It, uh, it is also important when we have developed these soft skills and showcase these skills. Because in the beginning we also talked about it. Now employees are whenever they are recruiting any employee and any they are seeing any candidate, they are paying attention what kind of the skills you have, especially what kind of soft skills you have. So it is very important to mention this skill on your resume uh, in on your resume so resume because resume is your first introduction to the employer so whenever they are going through your resume it will help them to understand what kind of skills you are mastered at and what kind of skills you have in, in you which can fit to their requirements so there how you can mention so there's one first phase you can highlight about your past experience whatever you uh, if you have done any internship or any work and project work in your college or any volunteer work, you should also, uh, you can also highlight in your resume. So for example, here it's, uh, you have developed this communication and the leadership skills when you're working with this developing a website and doing this video content and during that you were uh, working with a lot of multi a uh, lot of departments so it will help you to develop these skills another example we have talked about uh, you should uh, you can you can also do this soft uh, soft skills certificate so it is very important to mention on your resume as well so here's a way you can uh, mention uh, on your resume you can whatever the course you have a uh, uh, certificate course you have done so you you have you can put the name the, for example project management and leadership in which year you have done that and from which universe uh, which university or from which provider and you have done this course so like this you can mention about your soft skill uh, soft skill certificates and another way is you can mention soft skills depending on the job requirement uh, job requirement so if uh, you can mention the soft if you are applying for any particular job uh, research about it and try to understand what kind of skills it, and we have also talked about the core skills uh, for that particular if, uh, for different profession you need the different kind of core skills and you can also mention that core skills in your resume so for example if you are applying for the customer service soft skills so you you can mention uh, your soft skill communication listening conflict resolution if you are applying for the digital uh, digital marketing soft skills you can uh, write about the multitasking teamwork and creativity if you are applying for the so, uh, sales so your uh, sales soft skills can be time management critical thinking and problem uh, solving so like this you can mention about your soft skills uh, on your resume and it can help you to get the interview so once even in, when you are applying for the uh, appearing for the interview so during the interview interviewer also a recruiter also pay attention and try to understand what kind of the skills you have uh, do, so they have asked you the different kind of question, questions and it can help them to understand how you are using this uh, kind of uh, soft skill in the different situations so here are a few examples of the questions so the first question is what of what is the most significant problem you solved in the college so through this question they are trying to understand uh, problem solving and coordination uh, coordination skills and how you can answer this so 
try to share your past uh, situation uh, situations where you have deal something in detail about this step how you overcome these challenges whenever it comes to you and how you coordinated in that particular situation so for example uh, during your uh, your college so you are uh, your your college you were assigned for any external project and you're supposed to do the surveys with a group of people and you were assigned to a, a external uh, helper as well but unfortunately that person didn't come or uh, then didn't come uh, they didn't turn up due to certain reasons so here's the situation you have to do this survey in two uh, days now you have two days so you took the initiative and you uh, contacted your uh, college faculties and professors to help you out these surveys so here is this is how you can tell them how step by step how you looked at the problem and come up to the solution another question they can ask, ask you is how you can handle the criticism here they are trying to understand how you're using your emotional intelligence when someone is criticizing how you're managing your own emotion and control your own emotion in that particular situation so how you can answer this share a situation where you have willingly accepted your shortfalls and you improvise on that and you have worked on that so for example uh, during your college internship uh, and you uh, you were doing some work and your supervisor senior supervisor pointed out whenever you're talking on call you're too loud so that time maybe you haven't realized that because this is the way you talk in your colleges but later you have realized if you are working in a setup because other people are also working it so it is important to load on your voice and so other can also work around you so this is how you have or uh, accepted your short call and worked on it another question can be how you handle working with an incompetent team member here they are trying to understand you know your team uh, works uh, team work and conflict management skill so how you can answer this while answering this especially focus on how you resolve the uh, situation rather than how the what kind of issues and challenges that team member was creating for you so here you can say uh, you know when you're working in a group and college project there was a person with that person that person is creating issue you went to that person and share you what you are feeling and how you can uh, resolve this and how we how we can draw these boundaries so we all can uh, achieve that particular deadline or that particular result so here are a few examples of the soft skill uh, interview questions which interview can ask you during the interview here are a few other soft skill questions as well what motivates you winning on fear uh, of the losing here also it it has also you know why what kind of skills they are trying to understand and here's the sample answer as well how you can answer these questions what is your biggest strength what is your biggest weakness how important is for you to work in a team how uh, you can manage multiple projects at the same time again they are trying to understand your job team uh, time management skills and how you're prioritizing your work and here is the example a uh, sample example you can refer and based on that you can articulate your own uh, ex uh, own answer based on your own experiences so like this you can prepare for your soft skills um a uh, soft skill question during the interview and with the with this we are coming at the end of our session so let's summarize our session so we have started with the how uh, to understand about the uh, different kind of skill, what is the skills and different kind of skills then we have seen what the data is saying about the current market scenario then we have seen what kind of skills a recruiter are looking for and why they are important in the workplace then we have uh, looked at how we can develop this skills first first step by self reflecting and after the self reflecting how we can develop uh, these soft skill by the various active uh, various activities and then we have talked about how we can mention this skill on our resume 
and then we in the end we have talked about we have seen different kind of uh, question samples which recruiter can ask you during the uh, your interview to examine your uh, soft skills so if you have any questions uh, please uh, please share, you know, please ask your questions or any doubts or any thoughts you want to share with us okay so with this uh, we are coming at the end of our uh, webinar today and i'm also sharing a feedback form with all of you so i have request to all of you please fill this feedback form so you can get your participation certificate Kirtanal, we have already uh, conducted a webinar on, you know, how you can end an interview. If you want to know about it, if you want to see that, you can visit our uh, YouTube channel, uh, on, which is on the name of Vartana. There you can find the uh, webinar video on this, how you can, uh, you know, ace an interview and impress uh, HRN during the interviews. Okay, so Komal Pig, you are asking you to explain the soft skills again. Uh, so soft skills are mostly related to your personality, uh, personality traits, or you can say your personality behavior. For example, how adopted you are when you're working, and how effective you're communicating with the people uh, when you're working within the team, and you how you're managing it, how you're managing the time. And it is mostly how you are conducting yourself uh, uh, yourself to uh, to uh, achieve that work or to come to the desired result so uh, thank you all of you for taking out your time and attending this uh, webinar and making this fruitful for all of you uh, again i'm mentioning please stay tuned with us please visit our websites there you will get to know about our upcoming webinars